Hey guys, it is Arika Misha and today we are baking today. We are baking. I've been feeling like baking. Well, you know what? I've always liked baking. So anyway, uh, today we are baking the Great American Cobbler. But today it is going to be the Handcraft Apple Cobbler. Sweet buttery crumble. Ooh, don't that sound good, y'all? And look at that picture. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, it better look like that picture when I open this box. But anyway, and y'all already know, I already checked. It's going to take us, yep, going to take us about a good hour. Like that last one, the peach cobbler took an hour and a half. So this say um, 55 to 65 minutes. That's what it say. Y'all can see 55 to 65 minutes. Y'all know what? Y'all know what I realized? I know I've been complaining about these pies taking an hour, hour and a half. I've been complaining about how long it takes to make these pies. I've realized. And you know what? This is the word of the day. I realized that you know what? Sometimes you just gotta be patient. You just gotta wait. Stop always wanting things so quick, fast, and in a hurry. It don't work like that all the time. It don't work like that all the time. You gotta have patience and wait. And you know what? Sometimes things just take time. Good things take time. You know what? Don't give it to me all quick, fast, in a hurry if I ain't going to keep it. Sometimes we get stuff in quick, fast, in a hurry and won't have it long. I'd rather wait and keep my stuff. Y'all know how I am. I'm going to keep my stuff. So, yeah, that's what God been dealing with me on. Stop always wanting to be so quick, fast, in a hurry. Work on your patience, girl. Work on your patience. So, yeah. That's what I've been realizing, y'all. So let's get into this pie. Oh Lord, do I got my oven preheated, Jesus. What is supposed to be preheated to 350, Lord have mercy. All right, y'all. I just turned the oven on. I was so busy trying to get ready for the video. But anyway, y'all, yes. That's what he been dealing with me on. Have patience. Stop complaining because it take a whole hour and a half to make these pies. Have patience, get some patience, girl. So yeah, I'm telling y'all. Giving y'all the word of the day as it came to me. So, let's see what the apple cobbler looking like. The other week I did the peach cobbler. This week it's apple cobbler. Ooh, child. Anything cobbler sounds good to me. Y'all know what I gotta try? I gotta try a blueberry cobbler. I'm not really a fan of blueberry. Not really a big fan of blueberry. But you know what? A blueberry cobbler might be all right. Get this cleaned up off the sides. Got some little cobbler spill on the side here. But yeah, okay, you can see the apples under there. I don't know if y'all can really see the apples over here. Just like, looks just like the peach cobbler, but it's got apples in it. Yeah, that looks real good. That looks like it's gonna be real good. Give me a second, let me wash my hands. Okay, all right, so I gotta uh, get a pan. Let me get my pan and sit my uh, cobbler on. Totally forgot about that too. Girl, what are you doing, girl? I'm just forgetting, forgetting stuff. So, yeah. Pick up my pan. Duh, my pan right behind me with the aluminum foil on it already. <laughs> Hot mess. I was like, I know I got up early and I got prepped, got ready. But, all right, we got to sit our cobbler on, you know, a little small little cooking sheet with the aluminum foil. You know, because I guess they feel like it's going to kind of spill over. This kind of open a little bit on the side, but that should be all right. But yeah, y'all, that is our apple cobbler, handcraft apple cobbler. That's what we finished stick in the oven. Um, and I'll let y'all know, of course, how long it took to cook. So I'm going to set my timer for an hour and see how that does. Yeah. All right, y'all, let's get into this apple pie. Let go. All right, guys, here we are. The apple cobbler is out the oven. And you know what? It took about an hour and 15 minutes. No, 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 actually it was an hour and a half. Hour and a half, that's right, because I put 15 more minutes on time. It took an hour and a half. This is the apple cobbler. And you know what? I was around the house, doing things around the house while I was cooking, child. So I know I've definitely learned my lesson to have some patience, because God knows. Sometimes you need patience. Word of the day, y'all. Have patience. Sometimes you just got to wait. I know it's frustrating. I know it's annoying and look like things ain't happening. But you know what? Have patience. 
gotta have patience y'all so it's the little things you know that teaches me sometimes it's the big things too oh yeah the big things too teach me too all right y'all ain't gonna get the rambling i just want to show y'all the apple cobbler oh yes it looks so good Ooh, yeah, that cobbler look good that nice brown crust take y'all in oh yes mm, 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 mm. that cobbler look good right there I'm going to leave y'all right there while I do my outro. Yes, I am. Don't forget that word of the day. Have patience. Please have patience. All right. Y'all see me do it. Y'all know I cooked this. Y'all know I did it. Stop playing. Y'all know I did this. Anyway, this is Arika Misha. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on all my social media at Arika Misha. And don't forget, guys, knowledge is power. Thanks, guys. Bye.